Hello everybody, my name is Ariel Sprouse. I am a freelance model located in Louisville, Kentucky. If you are new to my channel, I wanna just say welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much and welcome back. Everybody, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and i love for you guys to give this video a nice big thumbs up and leave some comments for me down below. What is a freelance model? Well, it's just that, a freelance model. A freelance model is a model who does not have an agent. So it's very important that as a freelance model who does not have an agent, it's on their P's and Q's. You have to make sure that you know and understand the business of modeling. I'm here to just give you some quick advice about that as far as what do you really need to succeed in being a freelance model, you guys. Stay tuned. So when you are a freelance model, it's very important that you know and understand some of the important key factors that you need to have in order to be successful as a freelance model. And that is what this video is for today. So you guys, with that being said, my first advice is to make sure that you have a resume in your portfolio up to date. So models in general, you know you need to have a portfolio because that is what you use to show any of your future clients what kind of work you have done. But a resume plays a huge factor in reflecting the work that you have done because it keeps everything up to date. I worked with this uh, photographer on this date, on this shoot, and then I worked with this MUA, which is a makeup artist, on this day for this particular shoot. It keeps everything outlined for, your, for yourself, most importantly, and then for your clients, your future clients. You wanna make sure that you're always prepared because modeling is a business and it needs to be treated as such. You know, especially when you're a freelance model, you have to be on your P's and Q's as far as how do you want to represent yourself. This is very, 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 very important. Two, have your rate sheet ready. You, a rate sheet is your price. Hourly price, half day price, weekend price. Whatever prices that you want to lay out for yourself, you want to have ready. So when someone reaches out to you, asking you, what are your rates for two hours? You do not want to think off the top of your head, oh my gosh, what am I worth? What do I need to do? Let me do some research really quickly. No, those things need to be done before you put yourself out there as a model. Know your worth, make a rate sheet so that moving forward from there, that's one of the last things you have to worry about. Number three, you want to make sure that you learn how to communicate effectively. And what I mean by this is you're a brand. So being professional at all times, using communication via email, via text. You do not want to use any slang language at all. You want to speak very fluently. You want to make sure that communication is always professional because when you are putting yourself out there as a professional model, a freelance model with that, it's just super important that you are always on your P's and Q's. You do not want to lose opportunities just because you've decided to type in, hey, in the text message, or decided to write, hey, what's up, in the email, I just got your email, blah, 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 blah. Yes, I'm available. No, you wanna make sure that you're very fluent, very professional, communication is the key. As a freelance model, if you do not know how to communicate, I advise you to take some classes on communications. Look up some things about communications and learn how can I speak proper? How can I reply to emails professionally? How can I reply to text messages professionally? These, these things are just super important. Um, I know that speaking publicly and speaking on the camera are two different things and this setting here is a comfort zone, but even that you have to learn how to communicate and build those communication skills so that you can always be a brand no matter where you are. Number four, make sure that you have a professional contract ready to go. You can sit down and write out a contract that fits you and your needs and always, always, always have your client sign this contract. Having a contract as a freelance model is very important because you do not have an agent to do this for you. So when you go into bookings with clients, you want to make sure that you're always professional and you want to make sure that they know that you're serious about the work that you do. Having a contract shows them that 
one, I'm serious, and two, you cannot get over on me. You understand? So be sure that you have a nice contract laid out for them and never do anything until they sign this contract. And if they have any questions about your contract, make sure that you're open to communicate some of their concerns about your contract and make sure you understand what your contract is saying and meaning before you even push it out there. I really do advise you guys on that. Number five, always, always, always be prepared. There is nothing like having a model who is not prepared. She comes in and she's late. She comes in and her makeup's not done. She comes in, her hair's not washed. You know, she comes in and she didn't shower. Little things like that can definitely, definitely, definitely affect your career as a freelance model. Always make sure that you are prepared. It is okay to get your things ready days in advance. It's okay to groom yourself days in advance. Make sure that you're keeping up on skincare. Make sure that you're keeping up on your hair care. Make sure that you are keeping up on your fitness and your health. And make sure that you're being prepared as far as your mental health. You want to always be prepared because this is your job. This is your business. This is a business. And I know some of these things may sound simple, but you got to think about it. Some of us miss some of these key things and wonder why we are not getting booked and we wonder why we are not being taken serious. So that's what this video was about today, you guys. I really appreciate you watching and I cannot wait to come back to you with another model advice, model 101, skincare, and everything up under the sun, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, you guys, bye.